Hi everybody, I want to welcome you to this during the week video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. It's Wednesday afternoon, I'm here in the back of the church and there's a couple of reasons why I'm here and both reasons have to do with things that are happening here on Saturday morning. The first thing is a work day which is going to begin at 8 o'clock in the morning. The main reason we're having a work day is to take down the trees that are beside the picnic shelter. It seems that through the years the roots of those trees have gotten under the picnic shelter and it's kind of made uneven the cement slabs that are there. So we really kind of felt like we need to take care of those. So, uh, so please come and help us if you can. The other reason that we're going to think of the reason why I'm here is to show you somewhere else that something is happening here this Saturday. And it's right here at our church playground. This Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, our senior highs are going to be gathering together here and they're going to plant a tree. And the reason they're planting this tree is in memory of Walt Justice. Walt, who passed away a, a few months ago, um, our senior highs feel like this is just a wonderful way to remember him. Walt was a part of our church's preschool program. He's also known as one who climbed a lot. So um, the, that's going to be happening at 10 o'clock and everyone is invited to attend that. So please come if you can. Here are some things that are happening for us. Uh, this this week but first of all as I look out of the playground and look at our church property over here it reminds me of a great event that happened this past Saturday our preschool had a fundraiser it was called touch a truck and what a great event it was and I just want to thank our preschool for doing this but I also want to thank those of you who helped who donated items uh, who came uh, so we certainly are very thankful for your support with that um, just some other things that are going on for us we are going to continue our worship service indoors at 11 o'clock thank you so much to everyone who came this past week uh, not only was it great seeing people it was wonderful being able to worship in the sanctuary we had some wonderful special music from Peter and Lissy, Lissy Shanahan. If you did not get a chance to hear them or, or hear or see the service, uh, I certainly encourage you to check it out on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel. Um, also, we're going to be continuing with the service this Sunday, and everyone is more than welcome to come. If you do come, we ask that you wear a mask or a face covering. We are sitting with people as families and individuals spacing you out throughout the sanctuary. Uh, we have air purifiers, which takes care of over 99% of any COVID that might be in the air. Uh, so we want you to know about that. We also want you to know that if you plan to come but you are sick, we really want you to stay home and don't bring any sickness with you. And certainly we understand if you just don't want to get out in this, um, please just, uh, that, that, that's certainly all right. But we certainly encourage you to watch us online, whether it be at 11 o'clock on our Facebook Live or on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. I want you to know that a week from this Sunday, on Sunday, November the 15th, we are going to be having another worship service. The end of that worship service will be our church council meeting. We will be sending out reports, as well as having our church council report available this Sunday. We'll be sending it also by email uh, at our church council meeting. We'll just have an opportunity to, if anybody has any questions about our reports, we'll be doing our elections. And right now we need two other people who'd be willing to serve as our elders. So please let us know. Call me or call the church office if you feel led to do that. Um, so just, um, and then our, we'll just be doing our church council that way. We really need you to come, if you, those who come, if you can. We need at least 60 of our our members to be there to have an official meeting now if we don't get that we'll make other arrangements about how we'll do church council but it would be great if we would could take care of it then uh, but we're going to do it safely no matter what um, I want to let you know that we are still looking into doing a Zoom study on Moravian history and Moravian theology with the Reverend Dr. Riddick Weber We've heard from some people, but we really would like to hear from more if we are going to proceed with this. So uh, please call the church office. Let me know if you're interested. We are looking at possibly a Tuesday or Thursday, maybe in the morning or in the evening. We kind of need to know what people's preferences are. But if you have an interest, please let us know. I certainly hope we can do it. It should be a great study. Also, just want to let you know the Circle of Joy has begun their Angel Tree project to help make Christmas for one, a child and several children here in Stokes County. Uh, in the narthex, there are some boards of what you can take off of what you can purchase for a child. Uh, we'll also have the information on our church emails as well as our team connection of how you can contact Sue Gentry and just let her know what you're willing to do to help. Uh, so we do appreciate that. Do you have some prayer concerns I want to 
to share with you. We want to remember those who have been in the hospital recently, Bonnie Tonchik, Freddie Johnson, Ken Campbell. Certainly continue to pray for Jennifer Dunn as she continues her radiation treatments. Please pray for Sonny Grubb's mother, Bonnie Campbell. She had a recent fall, injured her hip and pelvis, uh, has been to the hospital, been to rehab, and now she's back to where she stays, but she still has a ways to go on her recovery. Please remember Pat Atkins, a friend of Kelly Norman's. She is in the hospital with COVID. And I certainly encourage you to keep up with our prayer concern list that you see on our King Connections and certainly pray for them. Please pray for those in our schools, our teachers, our administrators, our students, our college students, our preschool program, uh, with all that they are having to deal with these days. Pray for our health care workers as there's been that spike in COVID and certainly ask God's blessings and protective hand to be upon them and bless what they do. Pray for our nation with the pandemic um, and also with just our elections. And we're still waiting to hear some of the results. Friends, I don't know about you, but I imagine for many of us, this has been a very crazy year. A pandemic, hurricanes, wildfires on the West Coast, uh, the sun going down over the building, so it's getting, making this video a little bit darker. Uh, and certainly now an election for a president that we're still waiting to see who won. Now, there can be many things that bring stress to our lives, and I imagine for many of us, this has been a very stressful year. But this Sunday, I'm going to talk about stress and how God helps you and me handle it no matter what. So I invite you to join us this Sunday, either here at the church or online. Please have a great rest of the week. Please know that if there are things that we can do for you, please tell us and we'll certainly see what we can do. Let's please keep each other in our prayers and God bless you.